Hey beloveds, let's get into my mini living room tour. Um, I finally have my living room looking like, at least resembling, something that I wanted it to look like. So let's check it out. So first things first is where we have um, the TV area. I got this vase from Ikea for $5 and this bamboo plant thingy was like 2 or $3. I just love the simplicity of it and I got these um, two candles. This candle is like a nice vanilla candle from Ross. Although it's not vegetable wax or soy wax, I'm not too happy about that but beggars can't be choosers. And then they have these candles at Ikea as well for $1.49, which is a great sale. But again, they have paraffin, which is not that great to breathe in. And um, But they have a mix of vegetable wax as well. Um, I really just like the simplicity of where I've been able to place these um, items on the TV council area. So this is our new rug. It's like a nice shaggy rug from Ross. It, it was definitely deceiving when I purchased it. I thought it was gonna be much bigger. So I was slightly disappointed when I rolled it out. But again, beggars cannot be choosers. But I love this color because it's just a nice uh, gray pewter color and it feels so soft on my feet. Like after a long day, taking my shoes off and walking on the carpet is just, like a mini luxury mini massage so i got these great pillows from ikea they were like three dollars each we decided to go with like just nice a dark silver and then a lighter silver to go against my roommate's couch which is more of a grayish denim bluish tone and i just love these pillows because they're super soft guys they are so soft and they actually come in a lot of colors so do yourself a, a favor and just get these pillows they're also just a really really great size they say I'm crazy. so i've had this vision of taking um, magazine articles that i've been collecting since 2014 and putting them on a wall and here we are All right, so this is a New York Times article talking about kids, the movie. If you've never seen it, you need to get into it. It is one of the most amazing, rawest films I've ever seen. Here's Young Thug in New York Times 2014. I love the color gradient in this. This is Cardi B. You can't ooh me if you wanted to. Hey! Um, on her Fader cover, I love Cardi B. I think she's so necessary. And this is artist... Um, Zanel Muholi who um, centers herself around self-portraits. I love it. It's beautiful. It's depth. Here is Shane Oliver of Hood by Air. Just an iconic figure in our times. Um, here is Little Yachty on the cover of Fader that he shared with Cardi B. And um, this is the New York Times article where Nicki Minaj got into an argument with the reporter saying the reporter saying that she liked drama. Like, how dare that reporter? And then here is the New York Times article um, talking about the legalization of gay marriage in America. I think it's so important to hold on to the history that we are living right now because we can't hold on to Instagram. We can't hold on to that. I love tangible things. I want to pass things on to my kids. I want to show them and explain to them who a young thug was, what a Nicki Minaj was, you know? Um, so that's why I love this wall mural. And um, yeah, that's my mini living room tour. I thank you guys for tuning in. And again, you will never find YouTube per perfection on this um, channel okay I'm giving you what I am at the moment and this is where I'm at and this is what I'm doing at the moment yes I thank you guys for tuning in let me know if you were inspired by any of these pieces and I'll see you guys next video peace